This is Brian, uh, Stogie Review, IPCPR 2017. We are with my man, Kyle Gellis. Hey guys, Warped Cigars, you? you might recognize him, you might have heard. Yeah, well, uh, without the, uh, yeah, the man bun, yeah. it's it's a little it's a little different. It's a little shorter now. Yeah. It's yeah. a little shorter, but it's, uh, it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. It's hot. So we're here at the first day. Is it? Have you got a lot of traffic already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first time I've actually uh, I got up for the first time. So when it opens up at I think like 9:30, swamped came in 10:30, and now we're we're here at 11. I'm still still doing it, still and we have we have a couple more hours to go. So we were talking just before we started recording about how long you've been. How long have you been making cigars? I don't think people realize how long it is. I have been making cigars for a decade. For a decade, he's yes. been doing this for 10 years. 10. And he's only 25. I don't even know how that's legal. Uh, 28? 28. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 28. 28. I've been smoking since I was 16. Though. I was kidding. But you look young. But, uh, uh, yeah. but, I try to maintain it. Yeah. It, you're doing You're doing a good job. Must be the curative, uh, restorative powers of cigars. I'm it, thinking what that's Cigars what and espresso and a lot of it. So you had some old blends way back in the day that uh, some of us old timers remember. Uh, have you ever thought about bringing them back? I mean, you've got the whole FDA consideration. You know, do you want to, you want those to be viable products that you can sell or or do you kind of let those go or how's that uh, going to no, work? No, 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 absolutely not. I mean, we've been we've been producing them since we made them just in very small quantity to a very small amount of things. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yes. So, I mean, they were made in 2008, 2009. Um, some of them, unfortunately, were not made to that grandfather date. I guess I should have jumped off when I was, it would have been illegal to make them because I would have been 17 at the time. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah, you have to remember that. Um, but we were creating uh, and starting up at that point, almost to the point that I was, I was like a couple of days after I turned 18, I went to go to Sandy. So, you know, we're obviously always looking at things to see what we can do for the future, and it's, it's not off the table. You know, a lot, but yeah. a lot, as we used to have before, a lot of people are not going to know that we made those brands. There's Anubis, Osiris, Abydos, Private Blends. Um, I cringe every time I look at the old branding style I did. Actually, funny enough, I found a box of the old labels yeah. in my office, <laughs> and I was like digging through, cleaning up after the IPCPR and stuff like that. Well, we found a whole. They box. definitely have a different theme to them, and yes, it is a it is a young, perhaps less polished uh, theme and appearance. But uh, but that's the old stuff. Let's talk about what's new. What, what's new? What's going on? So new right now, obviously, is we reintroduced uh, Black Honey, as Black you guys honey. can see. Um, so let's go take for a walk. Come on, right, let's, we'll, we'll walk we'll, around. We'll take this on the move. So yeah. come on. So this is the first time we're actually debuting this booth. Um, one of the main things, as you can see, is we have a great illustrator based out of Spain who actually does all these illustrations for us. Uh, Maestro del Tiempo, Master of Time. Fantastic. Yep, actually, yep. A lot of material on that one. Obviously, the ever port, uh, ever you know, favorite Porto. Um, this was made by one of our great designers in France. Uh, but I think what most of you want to see probably is Black Hunter. So. Yes. Ten minutes for you. So that would be. So this is Black Honey. Look at that. That's what everybody's going crazy about. I talked. I talked to one of the people on the list about. It's like, hey, did you get any of that? It's like, yeah. <laughs> and then he laughed at me. Those were sold before they arrived. So, I'm like, all right. We uh, we heard that a majority of shops sold out within the first hour or two. Yes. Um, I believe we tied up a few large shops' phones for hours. People yeah. trying to get it. Um, so. Uh, if you don't know what Black Honey is, it is a hybrid of La Colmena, one of our more popular cigars, along with El Oso. So it uses the interior of La Colmena, but the exterior of El Oso Papa, so, which is an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper. So you're getting all these great dark honey flavors, this spice, this sweetness that you normally get out of Colmena, you're not mixing it with Papa. It just creates this, this, this mixture of just something that's so unique uh, that you have to try it, which is why I think a lot of people sold out of it very quickly yeah. and also the fact that the first time we ever did it it was actually 600 cigars total so it was 60 bundles and this was almost two years ago so they were gone and then they disappeared and obviously people have always been wanting them back and we decided to do it again still the same role who rolled the original all right, right. so one roller rolls them 100 a day how many how many uh, fit in those little bundles there uh there are 10 cigars per bundle you got 10 in there yes okay. we have 10 it's a three four three Okay. Yeah, it looks it looks tight, but yeah. yeah. Oh no, they fit in there. What was the retail uh, for those? Uh sixteen fifty a piece. Okay, sixteen fifty. Yep. One six one sixty five retail bundle. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a good call. Very compact. Very. Oh, yeah. uh, it would be it'd be great for shop shelves if it if it would stay around for more than five minutes. So you know. I don't think it did. Compact. No, no, no. <laughs> like I said, gone before you even oh, got them in. Yeah. But, uh, so it's uh we're really excited to have it back. Obviously, it's a big emphasis for us this year. And, um, you know, we're just super excited to do it. Sandy's super excited to have it back. Jose, who rolled it originally, is really excited to have it back, as we are. 
will we be seeing more black hunting in the future, or is it's, it kind of a maybe, maybe not? It, it, the problem with it is, is that it can only be rolled by one roller who has the Bay Coast certification, a Titan. He rolls 100 a day. There's other cigars that he has to make as well. So the first run and the first portion that actually went out was the first half of that production that he was catered to do. The second part isn't coming out till October. Okay. So this is the last, in October will be the last, or will be the remaining of that aspect. Then yeah. after that, the production scheduling changes. So okay. we don't know when it will come back. So October will... It, so it will be back in October. It will be back in October, but okay. after that... No telling. No telling. Maybe, maybe not. Because we still have to make the cigars that we make Don Ronaldo, the Comena, you know, um, Papa, Mama, Cub. We have to make all that. Yeah. And so this yeah. was just something that I decided to pull Jose off of and, and you know, and, and have him to do this. So we're excited about it. So uh, thoughts on the whole FDA situation? How are, you, how are you feeling about it now at this point? You know, we're, we're still in the same boat that we were a year ago. It's, we don't know. I've, you know. I've talked to some people and they seem upbeat now where they seem downtrodden last year. Are you feeling more optimistic now? Or are you feeling just... We, we always know with the FDA that we yeah. have to wait until we hear exactly what it is. Yeah. You, everyone always has their own opinion of what they hear, what they think, what someone said. Yes. We wait for pure black and white fact. And what we have in front of us is what we have in front of us. Okay. Uh, we know that we have we have dates that we have to meet, we have deadlines we have to meet, we have to go through equivalencies, we have to file paperwork for ingredients listings, and we're doing everything that is required of us, we are doing. And we don't know, obviously that uh, the first round bill passed with the appropriations, or the agricultural bill, and that still has a long, long way to go, that's a valuable thing, but what we do like is the language that's within it, to the ability to change the grandfather date, which is the fair thing to do to the date that the, the regulation came into effect, which is August 8, 2016. Yeah. That would be a fair thing to do, I think. Yes, I you think know? so. And uh, obviously there's the deregulational aspect. But obviously we wait for black and white facts from them. That's that's what you gotta do. That's Absolutely. the same thing to do. It's, okay. You, yep, you have to do the same thing. So let's show you the, uh, the other thing that we have. So some of you may have seen it, some of you may have not. So what we have here is we have, we have Siri Grand Reserve in 1988. This is made out of Topsa. This is Michael Del Tiempo, Futuro, Siri Grand Reserve in 1988. So, singular size, 55 and a quarter, 100% Anglo-Norso Nicaraguan Puro. It uses a lot of material that I don't normally use in priming and from different farms and lots. Normally, I like to stick to a certain, you know, area to, to get the flavor profile that I want, but I want to do something a little bit different. So, we're using higher priming, different farms, and different lots. So, you think that... These potentially a little more powerful blends, a little no, more no, spicy, not more, not more powerful. Like that? No, no, no. We, 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 you know I how know, we blend. I, I know how you blend. I'm curious. You said you're yeah. going in a different direction. We are, so but maybe. higher priming. Uh, you smoke Lilia Rojo? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you know that's higher priming. Before. Yeah. So that, I think that kind of flavor profile and that type of cigar and that you can experience. Okay. Um, we're just doing it with different farms. So okay. you know we're not using Condega. We're using only Jalapa and Esteli. Okay. So the material that we're using is a little bit different for us, but it's going to offer a different experience. One size, 55 and a quarter, 25 count. Um, this cigar is about the cigar. As you can see, it's very minimalistic in I terms of that, its yeah. packaging. Uh, we want it to be solely, solely about the cigar. So I'm super excited about this. It's been about 20 months in the works. Okay. And um, we're, we're ecstatic about it. Um, you should be looking for this around Christmas time, maybe the end of January based on the holidays. And I know they shut down early for uh, Christmas in Nicaragua. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, okay. But it's on display, so we are we are very excited about. It. Look for that around or after Christmas. Yes, <laughs> new. I, I would say new, new year. year. I would say end of new, end of January, new year. Okay. Just to be on the safe side. Great, great. So those are the two things that we have. Um, obviously, you guys can come in see the new entrance way. Uh, we we went a little different with this. You know, we're, yeah. we're happy with the way things are progressing. We're happy with the industry. Um, obviously, we're with a lot of great people here. Yes. And we're, everyone's having a good time. Yeah. And great. for those of you who don't know, Brian has been smoking and reviewing my cigars for the better part of that decade. But basically, yeah. <laughs> if I look through my humidors, I'll bet you I still have some of, like, like the old private blends, maybe? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I might have them. Oh, man. Those maybe. Were, those were wet wrapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. 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 It was exciting. Yeah, it was a good time. It was. It was, time. It was, very, it was a very exciting, youthful day. Yeah, it was a decade. Uh, yes, exactly. Everything was so much younger, <laughs> more vibrant back then. Rose-colored glasses. Well, thanks for taking a minute. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys.